Welcome back to today's video. Lincoln, do you know what we're going to see what's inside of? I have absolutely no clue. We are gonna see what's inside of the world's first cell phone. World's first mobile phone. Is it like as big as a computer? It's pretty dang big. We're gonna to have to go okay. grab it and show you. A portion of today's video is sponsored by Constant Contact and we will talk about them in a little bit. But first, the world's first mobile phone. Who makes it? Is it like IBM? Motorola, Motorola. is the company that really? made it. What year do you think the world's first mobile phone was sold to the masses? 1989. Ooh, that's pretty good. Really? That's not it. 1983 in the United States, 1985 in the UK. So I was three oh. years old and five years old. So we bought the UK version of this phone and uh, it was not easy to track down. You can't just find these things super easy. A lot of them are in yeah. museums, thanks to some online websites. I was able to find one in, um, where was it? It was in like, oh, what was the name of that country? Can't even remember. Somewhere near Russia. It was somewhere near Russia. Anyway, let's get this phone. Don't look, Lincoln. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't look. I'm hiding it. Yep. This is the charger for it. Wireless charging. Nope. Kind of wireless charging. Yeah, so this is the charger for the like phone. It looks like a wireless charger. This charging. is how you do it. You put it on here. It's the base plate for it. Um, let's take a look at the phone. And my wife actually had one. Um, Lincoln, close your eyes. Lincoln, can you hear me? Yes, it is massive. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at the antenna on top. A lot of people call the Nokia phone the brick and it's like wow. a brick, but this is the original brick. This is the Motorola Dynatac wow. 8000X. The antenna is just as big as the phone. The antenna is big and what's cool is you can just like Take it off. And now you're really talking to a brick. Hello. <laughs> 1983, when this thing came out, it was a game changer. The evolution of tech over time is a huge thing in our world and in my lifetime. And this was the world's first cell phone. It sold for 4,000 US dollars. When it launched in the UK, it was 3,000 pounds. So it really was somebody like you're a Wall Street trader. You're somebody that's in construction. You're somebody that really, really has to be connected. Today, to a lot of you that are watching, probably most of you that are watching, you don't even know a time in life when people didn't have cell phones. Yeah. But that was my life until I was 21 years old. Nobody used cell phones. I know they had these out, but it was really only for fancy, super rich people or people that had like some high profile jobs that their companies would pay for it. My wife is from Fairbanks, Alaska, and her dad worked on construction and built a lot of buildings. And he had this thing. And sometimes my wife remembers when she was a little girl driving down the street and using this phone and being at the intersection and looking over at people and they thought that she was the fanciest person ever. So here it is in comparison. Yeah. Uh, wow. side, side view. This one's a little thinner on the side view. And then the front view. This one's actually um, thinner on the front view. Technology in what, 30 years? Oh, 35 years? It's a big difference. This is a very commonly used smartphone from today. It is 6.6 .6 ounces. Zero pounds. 6.6 .6 ounces, is that right? Less than a pound? That sounds yeah. right, yeah. This is the world's first mobile phone. It is one pound, 12.5 ounces. Wow. Wow. Wait, is wait, there, wait, wait, let's do another measurement. Let's give it, yeah. for our European friends, this is 188 grams compared to 806 grams. That's so this quite is the about difference. Eight times, seven or eight times heavier. Yeah. It's interesting though that the tech inside of this is thousands of times better than the tech inside of here, obviously. So we can plug this in, but I think it was back in like 1996. These stopped working on the network. They switched over to like a GSM network. I think it's called for current cell phones that they use. Yeah. And this was outdated that you can't even use it. So I thought about charging it, but you can tell it's like a European some sort of European adapter that's on here. Yeah. These are now literally a brick. This is it's good. This is all it's good for. I want to see some of the chips inside of it and see how what it looks like. We'll try to do it in a nice way without breaking things. But guess what? No promises. We are not a perfect channel of taking things apart and putting them back together. If you didn't know that, then you haven't been watching for the last six years. Things might break today. Ta-da!
But before we take it apart and see what's inside of it, this portion of our video is sponsored by Constant Contact. If you're somebody that runs a business in 2020 or you're at home and you're like, I wanna start my own business, it's easier than ever to build a website and to create a social media marketing or an email marketing platform. You can go and create your own very professional looking website with Constant Contact and then you have their email marketing tools that are there for you so that when you do start selling products, you can dominate. You don't have to be a web designer and understand a bunch of code in order to use their website. You can sell your products, you can track all of your sales and keep track of your inventory. Constant Contact will help you not just have your products listed on the internet, they're also going to help you generate new clients and new customers, new potential customers, and to sell more to your current customers. So if you wanna sell more and you want your products to be found online by potential customers check out constant contact the link is in the description you can try it for free thanks again to constant contact for sponsoring this portion of our video now on to the rest of the video the phone battery life must be massive on this because this whole part right here is actually the battery there's a little clip in the back you pull that undo it and then oh yeah dun, 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 dun. what's that no refund okay here we are alexander batteries rechargeable nickel cadmium may explode if disposed of in a fire. Oh no, there's the back side of it. You can see where the battery clips in. And then there's the little antenna port that's right there on the back. I found the perfect little star guy. Tools! Boom! Yes. Four screws on the back. Oh, oh, whoa. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. This is like looks, the bulk of the phone. This looks really cool actually. We're getting in, and you oh, can yeah. see you the can inside see it. of it. It's a crazy it. little board, but I would imagine that this antenna is attached. Maybe I just need to undo the antenna. Okay, I can look down in there, and it does look like it's connected. I wonder if I can stick this in. Oh! Oh, no. Okay. Okay. We pulled it out. Wow. <laughs> What's inside of the world's first cell phone? Well, I'll tell you what, it looks a lot different than today's current cell phones. Yeah. I mean, the antenna part right there. Look at all the metal that's surrounding it too. Like around the entire phone. There's so much metal. That is a little metal. bit weird. That makes it so heavy. That is why it's so heavy. And it is a brick. There's more screws. I'm going in. What is that? Like, why is there just like one large wire? Do you think that's connected to the battery? I don't, that's, that is what goes all the way up into the antenna. Oh, that really? was connected up into there. That's why I was having a hard time. We might've just broken the antenna a little bit because that's supposed to go inside of there. Here we go, another screw coming off. Okay, so I took off those three, but I think we need to get off those mini bolts. Look at that, it came off. No way! We got that one. Yes! I don't know about those weird ones. We are nearing the danger zone. We are nearing the zone of things are about to get broken, because I am a caveman and I can't get into it, I break stuff. Hop out so I don't have to destroy you. If I just give it a little nudge, maybe it won't destroy it totally. Just a little nudge. Just a little nudge with this little guy. Ouch. I don't want to scratch my nice table. I think I have an idea. And I think a lot of you are not gonna like this idea. Here we are with the uh, world's first cell phone. I'm on top of my slide. We're gonna do a pretty intense drop test here. Should I drop it first or throw it? Give it some force, Lincoln. Uh, just drop first, drop test just first. Drop. All right, we're dropping it. In three, two, one. Um. Any luck? I don't see anything. Drop number two, you ready, Hunter? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like it kind of popped out. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Look, you can totally see it, the okay, metal. So we're kind of inside of it. Yeah. We need some more. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm coming down. Okay. I'm coming down. It's falling into pieces right now. Yes. This is the way we do things here, what's inside. That totally worked. We're totally in it. I think we take this inside. Mm. 
This little metal part fell out of it. It says it was made in Malaysia. We're gonna pull out the back compartment. Family got through the metal. Yes. Oh my. Wow. Oh my gosh. What is this? Look inside of that. Look at all the chips that are stacked right here. Just entirely stacked. And they don't even look like they're that organized too. That's why I love, they're like. No, they're pretty organized. Like, they're kind of tilted. Well, that's because like, we smashed it off of a slide at our pool. Yeah, that is true, I forgot. These are all just the chips that help it operate. These are some giant chipboards. Like, I'm gonna pull this off a little bit so you can see it. Here's one. Wow. Yeah, but like, these are all like hooked together. So fancy. This is top of the line technology in 1980s, and this was a game changer, and led the way and paved the way for all the smartphones that we have today. Oh, we are yes. in. We've done it. Okay, there's the metal case that protects that. Here's the red chip board. Look at that, there's the red light. So right here, all the different numbers that come through when you're calling somebody and it has the numbers. There's the lights for it. Beep, 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 beep. That's what it sounds like. Here's uh, here's the earpiece for you to hear it right there, see, earpiece. And even now, with this size, it is still bigger than most current smartphones right now. This is the Motorola 8000X, the world's first smartphone. I think I'm gonna put this in a baggie and send it to one of my friends that knows how to fix things. You can't fix this, look at this. Never mind. we are going no. to uh, put this in our shelf to yeah. show our fancy things. These are some of the things that we've cut open. I'm just gonna set it right there. And then uh, we're just not gonna tell our, our friend that um, properly takes apart technology. Let's just not tell him. He, I don't think he's gonna see yeah. this video. If yes, you know who I'm talking about, don't DM him. This is really fun. Yeah. I hope you liked it. This Great. is old school what's inside, breaking things open to see how it works. This is the type of curiosity that started our entire YouTube channel and uh, is fun whenever we can get back. She's just good old fashioned, taking something apart, learning something, and seeing how far we've come. Very by old deconstructing phone. it. Right there. Very old. Thanks for watching. Thank you. This far in the video. Bye. You're the real OGs. Pew, 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 pew. These are cool. I love these things. Bye. Some people question our methods, but our methods are undefeated in breaking things open. Undefeated. Have we ever not been able to open something up? Maximum is 50 pounds, so don't push on it too hard. Let's not do that. Let's not, okay. let's not smash it. It's the best part about scales. It is, it is a fun thing to smash them. This phone has been featured in a lot of movies, and one of them that you might remember is, for copyright reasons, we can't even say the name of it, but... Dinosaurs? Um, dinosaurs. On an island. And it may have been the third one, the third movie with the dinosaurs. Yes. And it wasn't this version. This version was not waterproof, but a later version, soon after, was waterproof. And at some point, a dinosaur eats a person. And this and was their only was, phone on the island. Yeah, and they were on the phone when they got eaten. So, not to spoil the movie, which you don't even know what movie it is right now, but nope. later on, they hear a phone ringing, they reach into a giant pile of dinosaur poop. Because they Can need to get poop? off the island. Do we have to say dung? Poop? What's another term we could use? Dinosaur. Feces. Feces. Fancy. Dinosaur feces? Sound fancy. Dinosaur excretions out of the rear section? Lots of different okay, words yes. we could use. It's very broken. Don't message him on social. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, oops, I was recording. Sorry, Jason. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. No. Who?